The Ocean Ranger, A Tragedy Retold Reflecting off the water, the sun above the sea, the wind is but a whisper to its ocean scenery. The stars at night they glisten, the sea it glistens too. Hear the sea birds if you listen, over the month's hard-working crew. For admit the ocean landscape, an oil rig stands tall. Built a man-made marvel, it was built to stand it all. The ocean wind and waves, at their worst, weren't meant to phase her. Believed in all that she could be, they called her Ocean Ranger. She was no stranger to the sea. Met the waves in 76, as an unsinkable, semi-submersible machine. The platform known as a city on the sea. But I was just six years from Japan, to the Grand Banks off Newfoundland, and the Hibernia fields, where little did they know that amidst the winter's wind and snow of the oil rig Atlantis she'd become. The worries file and silent on the oblivious in charge, untrained workers, victims of compliance, their safety left at large. Too blinded by her beauty, their unsinkable beliefs, the warning signs were lost, along with any hope there was, as no one cared to warn them of the ocean ranger danger the oil crew knew they couldn't trust. For on that fateful eve, back in 82, for the workers and their families, their nightmares became the truth. They knew the storm would hit, just not how hard it would. For in the morning wake, the rig no longer stood. As they heard it from TV, the radio and friends, family took to praying that they'd see their loves again. But on a day that's meant for love, when you're blinded by its storm, all the crew could do was remember all that was. As there was no time for reflection, the sun no longer seen. On that day 14, as the winter winds grew vicious, the ocean growing mean. To the storm they listened, loud alarms they listened to. The ocean ranger was enlisting, sending fear throughout the crew. For amidst the ocean's chaos, the oil rig was small. Built a man-made marvel, but to the ocean it would fall. For what once was testing oil was set to testing fate. Tested all that nature had without testing their escape. On the day 15, after the ballast room lost power and the controls went all astray, to the lifeboats they did cower in their last and final call, crying out their mayday. On the rig, the icy waves, they crash. The winds hold nothing back. In the violent weather here, the lifeboats crack, smash, helpless in the ice-cold ocean splash. Their cries, a whisper in the gale, fighting the sea amid the storm, no survival suits to warm. Pajamas in the ocean deep, freezing while their families sleep. As their lives fade out, the life fest lights go on, like the stars the storm was hiding, the world's saddest constellation, as rescuers face the clear and utter devastation. Pier 17, a makeshift morgue, only 22 stories finally closed, 87 lives cut too short, those 84 stories that will never be told. Lives that were just in reach, but ultimately too far, for some faceless someone who ignored safety from the start. There were no answers for their families, no peace where they may lie, for there will always be those changes that could have helped them all survive. In memory of all those lost and all those who still suffer as a result of the Ocean Ranger tragedy, my heart stands with you today and every day that shall follow as you remember 40 years on.